We've got a new star system out for 3.24 PTU Pass 4 Evo Cardi. We're going straight into it. Before we get into the video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, this one is straightforward as well. Test and focus remains the same as always. This time around, they made some updates under features and gameplay. Under the AI category, it says here, new light amplification optics added to specific NPC loadouts throughout the PU. So what is this? Is this the night vision scopes that uh, we've been hearing about um, that you can only get through killing NPC? That's that's pretty cool. I like that. It gives us a, a reason to go out and grind and find these NPCs. But we'll have to see what does that mean? Light amplification optics. Could be something else, but uh, let's continue. Under gameplay, it says your law system towing update. It says they made towing hostility only hostile to the owner of the ship. How did they count down to the warning for towing under ships and vehicles? They've slightly reduced acceleration and speed of the Amber Hornet series ships. This one also has a few bug fixes. They fixed an issue where elevators for personal hangers despawn and leaving players out of bound. They fixed an issue where entering the pad in a personal hangar teleports you away. They fixed an issue where in area 18, it is possible to get overlapping gateway granted clearance to leave hangars, causing collision between ships and player teleporting. <laughs> That's an interesting bug. Um, they fixed an issue where mission is not spawning at AI at uh, Nine Tails Control UGS. They've uh, fixed an issue where landing in a personal hangar can cause all surrounding to become invisible until the player exits their vehicle. That's interesting. They fixed an issue where you're unable to sell from an auto load order. Um, thought they fixed this already. They fixed an issue where successfully selling or buying cargo from a location given a message of awaiting manual delivery to the freight elevator. They fixed an issue where while exiting furniture, player character can clip through the environment. They fixed an issue where frame rates will drastically drop if players own many items. They fixed an issue where after looting an NPC corpse, the player character cannot retrieve items from storage access terminals. They fixed an issue with infinite loading when trying to abandon hauling mission. That's interesting. They also fixed an issue where when an instance hangar is assigned an exit door, the external door does not properly open. Interesting. Along with this is one client crash as well as five server crash fixes. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.